Today we're gonna work on the Sonata in E minor um, by Yusai, Eugene Yusai, the Allemand. Um, let me see. Um, it's a really challenging piece of work, um, but don't let that stop you. <laughs> it just might take some time. Um, we're just gonna focus on the intro today and a little bit of scales. This is an E minor. scale I do feel a little bit of tension as I don't get to practice often these days but I'll just do a short lesson today and try not to you know get too too tight and stuff and yeah so what are we doing it's an E minor sonata a really beautiful intro challenging lots of string crossing lots of shifts you know you've got the direction lead up to the C da, da, dee, da. so let's see how we can break this apart and you know me I like to practice slowly super slow guys super slow in the beginning uh, when I first started literally I think I was not even using vibrato and just literally like no slurs and all of that stuff I don't know if you can see my bow, but let's see what's happening with the bow distribution. Um, I start to cross, I think, around, let's see. of the way up but it's really totally up to you um. another thing um i was listening to a recording a really beautiful one oh gosh i see if i can remember and put in the description so when you're going to um do da 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 Da, 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 so the guy was connecting it such a beautiful way um obviously it's just a really long phrase guys right from the beginning to the high c right here the high c so the whole thing is just a continuous beautiful phrase with no sort of stops or pauses, I guess. What's the best way to say it? Um. Uh, 
and here. And another trick is that um, you don't want to play super, super loud, you know, energetic in the beginning just yet. Because what are you going to do when you get to the high C in four bars later? Um, so let's take it, uh, you know, a little bit of less in the beginning. When you get to the B, um, maybe next time I'll have it like on the screen for you guys. Hold on, let's see. So this is the third measure. Yes, when you get to da 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 bum bum da da bum. So when you do the B to A, I like to kind of tap 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 for the extra clarity there. Let's see. What's happening with your vibrato when you're getting to the point of, you know, adding vibrato and such? It has to get faster, more kind of, um, not so wide, I guess, but just going along with the phrase. You're really catching it there, aren't you? And let's stop right here and do some technique work in the fourth measure because it's in the intro, I think it's the most difficult one. bad here. So here we have only one shift going to third position um, after the crossing, string crossings. Let's break it up. Make sure that A is in tune, yeah? It's hard to focus because my pop is literally just here, just a little girl. Okay, so let's let's shift, yeah. So get your shift in tune, guys. Find your third position A, one on E string. Test it with your opening. Okay, <laughs> we have a little audience member here. Okay, I didn't know you can get this far, girl. Okay, um, did you have your play area over there? There you go. So let's see now. Um, we're working on the shift, right? And as I've mentioned before, you want to connect everything. So now we're going over to the D sharp, the F sharp, the A, and the C. And that to me is the hardest part. Right? We've got the D sharp, the F sharp, the A, and the C. Let's see if I can show it to you guys. Um, right over here. Do -da -da -da. Uh, so 
you can literally spend hours on just those four notes. Um, slow shift here. And you're at the bead. Let's try that again. Actually, let's practice the ship. G, D sharp to F sharp. So we're in fourth position, right? Going into the fifth. Am I right? Wait. Um. No, not the fifth, way above, but. So let's practice shifting third finger D sharp, the first finger F sharp. And here you can do the same. You can just op uh, practice with your open string. Let's add the slur. I think this is a down bow. And I uh, watched some uh, master classes on this piece. There's so many different ways to play the C. I do not think there's any wrong way to play it, honestly. Um, yeah. So some play with an accent, some play not with an accent, some play fortissimo, some don't. What is it really that you're feeling here? There really isn't no right or wrong. <laughs> part perhaps we'll leave it for the next lesson <clears throat> because it's another super super challenging part at least it was for me it still is <laughs> but um <clears throat> guys if you're practicing every day you're gonna make such amazing progress and such an amazing find i think i found this piece through tonic um app um yeah, someone was practicing it maybe a year or so ago or even more so. And I thought, what is this amazing piece? I didn't learn it in college or even before conservatory. So amazing. And it's you're never too old to learn. There's so many beautiful pieces to learn. Yeah. And if it's too difficult, please do not give up. I thought it was too difficult for me um, because, like I said, I don't get to practice much these days. But... I mean, what's a better way to keep your technique up, right? No practicing the size sonata. Okay, you guys, I hope I was helpful. Um, <clears throat> have fun with it practice it extremely slowly uh i don't think we dissected it as much as i have in my previous videos which i've seen you guys enjoyed the bach and what was the other one i think it was a nutcracker yeah so i guess the theme of my practice videos is just practicing slowly and next time we'll get into i think the let's see uh, second third and fourth lines right um before the odd tempo 
to you guys. Happy practicing. See you next time.